Hi! Okay, today we're going to try something a little different. Most of you have a fandom, even if you don't realize it. Like, um, if you're really into Justin Bieber, if you're like, which I'm sure nobody in class really is, um, and if you are, it's fine. It's fine. No worries. Um, if you're really into My Little Ponies, <laughs> if you're really into Doctor Who or Jersey Shore, if you're into that stuff, I mean, if you love listening to Lady Gaga music, if you like listening to obscure gothic rock music from the middle of Tibet or something, and you have a fandom. You might not realize it, you might not spend a lot of time in it, but you do. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to start talking about the different um, social media, social networks that you can use to find like-minded people. Okay, so my first real kind of grab into fandom came through sites like um, LiveJournal or back in the olden days, Greatest Journal <laughs> and Blogger, that kind of thing. Um, mostly because you have like communities dedicated to whatever it is you like. So let's say you like um, Game of Thrones, there'll be a community for Game of Thrones and um, you can see it, you can join it, you create your own username, you go in there and you consume posts, so you find out what's the latest going on in um, filming, um, what's the teasers for next episode, and you can see all kinds of stuff. And then depending on what kind of community you go into, you can consume fan fiction or fan art or fan vids, anything that you can make up. There, if you create your own journal and post about the show and talk to other people and respond to other people's comments, you can make connections with other fans. And it's a lot of fun to be part of a community like that. My favorite place to form bonds with other people that like the same things I do is Twitter. Twitter is like amazing for fandom. Like really. Let's say you like fandom you search whatever it is that you like and then you start you know replying to people that like the same thing you do and then suddenly you have like 10 friends that like the same thing you do and you start talking and then you see that they retweet someone that also likes what you like and you follow them and they follow you and you make it turns into like the most amazing chat room kind of thing where everybody's just talking about things and linking to things and you reply to them and you have like entire conversations and if other people you both follow, follow you, then they talk also. It's really awesome. Um, the next other place that I would choose for fandom interaction or fandom consumption would be Tumblr. Tumblr is like Facebook, on, I mean it's, it's like Twitter on steroids. Simply because you don't have any of the conversation, usually. It's just like links and, and media coming at you like all the time. So if you want to know... Okay, let's say um, Sherlock. Sherlock fandom. The BBC one. Okay. If you want to know what the latest meme or the latest fanfic that's amazing, the latest, you know, thing that Martin Freeman and Benedict Cumberbatch are doing, which would be The Hobbit, because I know. <laughs> You can see it all there. The the most popular comic strips that are done about the show, the, the latest teaser photos, the latest, uh, all of that information is like tweeted, I mean, tumbled, tumbled out like all the time. It's like constant. Um, you could also do a fangirl or a fanboy uh, fandom Facebook, but that's harder because you'd have to, I mean, Facebook tends to be a one identity place, whereas the others are like, oh, you can have like five billion accounts. Google Plus is also not a very good place to do fandom stuff. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that. I would steer clear of those and keep keep to the blogs and Tumblr and Twitter because those are the cool places to go, like really. I'm glad you enjoyed this and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. And um, yeah. Um, Please, uh, ask me any questions if you have any. Bye!